In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use speed slash duration for both slow-mo and fast-forward in Premiere Pro. To access speed slash duration, just click on your clip, right-click, and go up to speed slash duration, or go Command or Control R, and that'll bring up this window right here. This menu obviously gives us the ability to change a clip's speed and or its duration. So take note of this clip at 100%, it's four seconds and 26 frames. So this is hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So anything that I make lower than 100% will be slow motion and anything higher will be fast forward. And you're gonna use this option instead of the rate stretch tool if you want to select an exact percentage. So for example, if I wanna go 200%, notice that automatically the time changed to two seconds and 13 frames, which is half of the duration that it was before, because the faster you make it, the shorter the clip is gonna be. So when I click OK, take note down here what happens, it's gonna be cut in half. And once again, if I play it, the video and the audio is gonna be fast forward. You can also adjust the clip from the duration side of things as well. So if you click in here and you wanna make it, let's say three seconds, for example, and then put zero frames, Note what happens to speed up here. When I click away, it changes it to 162.22% to match this duration. When I click OK, you can see that one shortens as well, just not as much as the last one. If you don't want these things to change together, so let's say you want your clip at 50%, but you also want it to be six seconds, you don't want it to change from this length, then just unclick this chain, then put it in at 50%. You can see the time didn't change. Now when we click OK, it's gonna make this slow motion, but it's gonna keep it at six seconds. Down here, these two things are pretty obvious. If you click this one and okay, your clip is just gonna play backwards in reverse. This one right here will try to maintain the clip's audio pitch to make it sound like it originally did. Wow, good jump. Wow, good jump. But most of the time it sounds pretty bad and tinny. Next, we have ripple edit shifting trailing clips which only comes into play when you are changing the speed or duration of your clip and there's other clips that are after it on your sequence. So notice the difference between whether I have it checked or not. So when it's unchecked and I click OK, the clip is gonna go to 200% and it's gonna be half as long, but now it's gonna leave a gap. It's not gonna affect anything else on the timeline. On the other hand, if I now click Ripple Edit Shifting Trailing Clips, and then click OK, watch what happens to these clips over here. Click OK, it's gonna do the same thing, go to 200%, half as long, but it moved all the clips that were after it on the timeline over to fill in that gap. When putting clips in slow motion, however, Ripple Edit Shifting Trailing Clips has a few other things to consider. So this clip right here, I'm gonna put it 50% in slow motion, but it has a clip that's right after it right here, so when I click OK, you can see that it gets blocked. So yes, it went slow motion. If we play it, it goes in slow motion, but instead of doubling in length, it gets blocked because this clip was right after it. If we did the same thing, however, and put it to 50% and checked Ripple Edit Shifting Trailing Clips and clicked OK, you can see that that clip, along with every other clip that trails, was bumped over to make room for this clip that doubled from two seconds to four seconds. One scenario where this comes in handy is when you only want part of your clip to be in slow-mo and the rest to be in regular speed. To do that, just move your playhead to where you want it to start being fast forward, use your razor tool to slice, find the spot where you want it to end being in fast forward and go back to normal speed. So let's say there, slice again, go back to your selection tool, click on the middle section, right click, go to speed slash duration, change it to whatever speed you want. So let's go 400%. And then make sure to click ripple edit shifting trailing clips. If you don't and click okay, you're gonna leave this gap and you gotta move this clip over. But if you do check it and click okay, it's gonna automatically move it over. Now your clip's gonna go regular speed, fast forward, and then back to regular speed. And then there's time interpolation, which only becomes a factor when you make your footage slower than the optimum slow motion rate. And Premiere has three different ways to deal with that. Frame sampling, frame blending, and optical flow. For more information about time interpolation or other change of speed effects, make sure to check out the videos linked on the screen right now or down in the description below.